talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Numbers, chapter 6. Before we get started into that, we'll get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us today. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read and how to apply it as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us, our loved ones, others, and the animals as well as we're traveling to and from different locations and our vehicles as well. Send down the guardian angel to protect us today. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. Ask that you send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. And if there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to or listening to, just show us that person. Pray that you take away any and all distractions out of our minds, bodies, spirits, and hearts right now so we can focus on you. Pray that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits right now. And if there's anything we're struggling with, Lord, help us to be overcomers in that. We pray that you heal all the marriages that need to be healed right now. We pray that you restore family units to their proper position. We pray that if there's anything we're struggling with right now, Lord, that you help us out with that. We break off any addictions off of us right now. And if there, we pray for our leaders right now, Lord, and us and our loved ones in the world, that we make godly and wise choices right now. We pray for God's divine protection over our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world, and we pray for your mercy over us, our loved ones in the world. And we pray that you heal our land, Lord. And Lord, we pray for your divine covering over us. We pray for your favor over us, our loved ones, our leaders in the world. We pray for your blessings over us, our loved ones, our leaders in the world. And Lord, um, we just ask that you forgive us of each and every sin that we've committed against you and or others, whether it be in word, thought, and or action, as we forgive those who've sinned against us, Lord. We pray for our enemies that you bless them, keep them safe, and if they or anyone listening has not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and would like to do so now, we pray John 3:16 over them. For God so loved the world that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you can know that you will go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works that no man shall enter the kingdom of heaven, so that no man shall boast. And there's not enough good works we can do to earn our way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life and that was jesus being born died buried and rising again for our sins and the salvation of the world that any of us have a chance to go to heaven for all those that choose to accept it lord we thank you for this person that accepted you as their lord and savior today help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them to do and lord Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them, how to use them for your glory to help those around them in need. And everyone listening to today, Lord, that you show them the gifts and talents they've been blessed with to help others in need. And help us to get in the word each and every day. Um, that's the Bible, which is basic instructions before leaving earth so we can discern the truth amidst all of the lies and help us to get into prayer with you each and every day so we can hear your voice and obey what you tell us thank you in jesus mighty name we thank you and pray amen 
So we're going to be talking about today what the Lord has to say about the book of Numbers. So if you have your Bibles and would like to follow along, go ahead and turn them to the book of Numbers, chapter 6, and we'll get started. Thank you. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When either man or woman shall separate themselves to vow a vow of a Nazarite, to separate themselves unto the Lord. He shall separate himself from wine and strong drink, and shall drink no vinegar of wine, or vinegar of strong drink. Neither shall he drink any liquor of grapes, nor eat most grapes are dried. All the days of his separation shall he eat nothing that is made of the vine tree, from the kernels even to the husk. All the days of the vow of his separation, there shall no razor come upon his head, until the days be fulfilled, and the which he separate himself unto the Lord. He shall be holy, and let the, shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. All the days that he separate himself unto the Lord, he shall come at no dead body. He shall not make himself unclean for his father or for his mother, for his brother or for his sister, when they die because the consecration of his God is upon his head. All the days of his separation he is holy unto the Lord. And if any man die very suddenly by him, and he have to file the head of his consecration, then he shall shave his head in the day of his cleansing. On the seventh day shall he shave it. And on the eighth day he shall bring two turtles, or two young pigeons, to the priest, to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And the priest shall offer the one for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering and make an atonement for him for that he sinned by the dead and shall hollow his head that same day and he shall consecrate unto the Lord the days of his separation and shall bring a lamb of the first year for a trespass offering but the days that were before shall be lost because his separation was defiled and this is the law of the Nazarite when the days of his separation are fulfilled, he shall be brought unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and he shall offer his offering unto the Lord, one he lamb of the first year without blemish for a burnt offering, and one ewe lamb of the first year without blemish for a sin offering, and one ram without blemish for peace offerings, and a basket of unleavened bread, cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, and wafers of unleavened bread anointed with oil, and their meat offering, and their drink offerings. And the priest shall bring them before the Lord, and shall offer his sin offering and his burnt offering. And he shall offer the ram for his sacrifice of peace offerings unto the Lord, with the basket of unleavened bread. The priest shall offer also his meat offering and his drink offering. And the Nazarite shall shave the head of his separation at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and shall take the hair of the head of his separation, put it in the fire which is under the sacrifice of the peace offerings. And the priest shall take the sodom shoulder of the ram, and one unleavened cake out of the basket, and one unleavened wafer, and shall put them upon the hands of the Nazarite after the hair of his separation is shaven. And the priest shall wave them for a wave offering before the Lord. This is holy for the priest, with the wave breast and heave shoulder, and after that the Nazarite may drink wine. This is the law of the Nazarite who hath vowed, and of his offering unto the Lord for his separation. Beside that his hand shall get, according to the vow which he vowed, so he must do after the law of his separation. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, on this way she shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. And that's the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Numbers chapter 6. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. And thank you for joining me today. May you all have a blessed day. And until next time, bye.